Welcome back, everyone. Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again for yet another McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse News update. We have a couple new releases to talk about today. Ones that we have definitely seen before from McFarlane Toys in some way, shape, or form. One of them being a character that we, well, we talk about that often as seeing him all the time. However... I think a lot of people may actually really gravitate towards this one, especially if you are a 90s Norm Brayfogle fan. Yeah, this Batman we're going to be chatting about might be right up your alley. The Swamp Thing, though, it's going to be a little bit more obscure. This was definitely something that I really had to go back and refresh my mind on in terms of Swamp Thing and traveling around to a different planet and just really that era of DC Comics. So when you kind of see it, and I know a lot of people are like, hmm, Red Swamp Thing, that's interesting. And that's the beauty of getting all these action figures. You look it up and you learn something new. Ain't it a peach? I certainly enjoy it. But before we get started, as always, if you are interested in anything we're going to be talking about here today, I will have affiliate pre-order links down in the description below. Thank you, as always, for using my links. It helps the channel to grow. Now, First and foremost, <laughs> yeah, we're going to kick it off this way. We got a little bit of a Swamp TD thing going on. This is a rather inflamed Swamp thing. No, this is quite interesting, actually. And it is a way to reuse the Swamp thing, but in a way that makes sense, especially if you are a Swamp thing fan. Now, from Swamp thing 57, way back in the day, Swamp Thing ventured to other worlds. There was even a blue Swamp Thing at one point, which, yeah, I wouldn't put it past McFarlane Toys to offer us a blue Swamp Thing at some point. Maybe even a Techno Organica kind of one. Uh, who knows? From the planet Ran, from, yes, the Ran Thanagar War, we have the red Swamp Thing. Now, this is Swamp Thing regrowing a new body using the vegetation of Ran. So that's why he's red. That's why it's very alienish. which when you start to look at it, there will be certain discrepancies. It kind of looks like the old comic books, kind of doesn't at the same time. They're reusing the huge, keep in mind, the mega figure body, which he stands around 11 inches. I really like the McFarlane Toys Swamp Thing, except for the fact that he's very difficult to stand. That was the main issue there. He's largely going to have the same hands, the same look, the same build, everything else. But now he just has that extra alien vegetation to him, which, yes, I don't think everyone's going to immediately go, oh, yeah, I remember that. But for those those of you that do and for those of you who are really big fans of Swamp Thing this is something different something new but in the vein of Swamp Thing lore he also comes with a pair of fisted hands of which you can swap out he's also got the collector card in the stand and overall I'm mixed on this one like I think it's interesting I think it's cool I think it's a good way to get a new Swamp Thing out I don't necessarily want like a whole rainbow of Swamp Things, but if it pertains to comics, especially comics of old, yeah, I think this is a great way to get a new Swamp Thing and not just have the usual. But I will say this, for the next Swamp Thing, let's kind of downsize them a little bit. Let's get that old school flair of Swamp Thing going. That's the Swamp Thing that I want to see next from you McFarlane Toys. But like I said, if you need this Rand Vegetation Swamp Thing, the links are down in the description below. Moving on, now this is probably going to get a bunch of people's attention, I'd imagine. It definitely got my attention. From Detective Comics, issue number 587, from the artwork of Norm Brayfogle, we have a Batman that I've definitely been asking for. So this... Yeah, this is quite cool. Now, keep in mind, this is a gold label exclusive that is exclusive to the McFarlane online store dealio. That kind of thing. As of now, things could maybe change later down the road. But if you want it, as all the information that I've been given thus far, the McFarlane store online is the only place to get it. And I rather like this one. In the infinite sea of Batman that we have gotten from McFarlane Toys... 
why uh, that's a Batman that I uh, definitely recognize. Now, you'll notice right off the bat, he's got a really cool windswept cape, multiple capes, in fact. One of them being very windswept and very much just going to be for display, and the other one is going to be a bendy wire, which is oh so awesome. But I love the big old shoulders with the hooks, very Spawn-like, which, yeah, that could look really cool if you want to take this Batman up against Spawn. Everything about it from the colors to the angles to the head portrait. And if I'm being honest, I really do think that that is a cool enough looking head portrait. I'm not exactly sold on it. It looks good, and then I wish that it was just a little bit changed around. It does have those Bray Fogel Batman eyes, and then I will say it doesn't at the same time. I reserve judgments to have in hand. I will be ordering this. This just looks really cool. And again, it's the Batman that I myself, let's say, there are very poignant parts of DC Comics lore where you look at Batman, you go, okay, yeah, I want a figure of that, I want a figure of that, I want a figure of that. And yes, the Norm Brayfogle era of Batman just looks awesome, and it looks to have translated really nicely into action figure form. Now, by all accounts, that looks like the Nightfall Batman body, which, hey, I'm totally on board with. You get, again, two capes, the one that's going to be very much the static pose, and then you get the big old bendy wire cape. He also comes with a standee that is a gargoyle. I love that, you can get him standing on that. You'll notice a few other things that we have seen before. You get extra hands, you get a battering, you get a gas mask, and then you get the head of Scarface, which again, we saw a recent Robin come with the mask of Professor Pig. I really hope that that alludes to maybe we're getting a ventriloquist later down the road. I think that that would be very, very cool. And in this case, this specific accessory, the head of Scarface, comes from Detective Comics number 584. So, again, nice attention to detail. I totally dig that. The gas mask is cool. See, this is right around the era where they were kind of looking at the comics for Batman the Animated Series and then kind of taking little things that you now notice years later for Batman the Animated Series, but it is around this era and much before that. And that's really what I like to see. It's very much the 90s, a little bit of the 80s, a little bit of Batman the Animated Series, and overall just the era of DC Comics, as I always say, that I love to live in. So, across the board... I think this is a really nice set. I think that they're paying attention. I think you're getting hands, you're getting really cool accessories, stand, multiple capes. The head portrait again, I reserve judgment till it's in hand, maybe it'll look a little bit better. And I wouldn't be surprised if you would later see this Batman in some lighter colors, a lighter blue, a lighter gray, something like that because you know they're gonna do it eventually. Why wouldn't they? And you know what? I'll buy it because yeah, that's just a really cool color scheme for Batman. So all boxed up, ready to go. Here he is, the Norm Brayfogel Batman, gold label exclusive to the McFarlane store. You got the artwork on the back. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. So overall, two interesting offerings from McFarlane Toys for the DC Multiverse line. And I would honestly say, nothing that's wow, but they're interesting. They're interesting enough to talk about. They're interesting enough to garner our attention. The red Swamp Thing is really cool looking. I don't know necessarily if I'm gonna just grab it, grab it, but hey, you never know, and eventually I probably will get it. But this Norm Brayfogle Batman, yeah, I really like this. I like what they've done. I like how they packed the box. But as always, I'm curious to know what you guys think. So comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything DC Multiverse. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember just when you thought that was it for talking about DC multiverse offerings and pre-orders, well, just wait till tomorrow. We'll have another video to talk about. And when we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Happy Halloween.